Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Sunday, May 12, 2024, the Solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord and Mother's Day. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In, In the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, and of, and of the, the Son, and, and of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ, your Son, is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 16 verses 15 through 20. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through the accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today we observe the solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord and we honor our mothers on Mother's Day. I was picturing today and what it must have been like for our mother Mary to watch her son ascend into heaven. She was probably a little torn at that moment. Can you imagine the joy that she must have felt when she first saw her son after the resurrection? But then, several weeks later, she has to say goodbye one more time as he ascends into heaven. His mission on earth was complete, and this part of her journey had come to an end as well. Now it was time to begin the next phase of life as she helped her son's disciples to begin to form the new church. It's a profound ending, but also the great commissioning of our call to proclaim the good news of Christ. And how similar it is for our own mothers, who make so many sacrifices for us as children, and then it abruptly ends as we move out and begin our lives. Many of us have experienced that same phenomenon with our own children. We had a great sense of pride and happiness when our kids left for college, but the house felt pretty empty during those first few weeks as my wife and I settled into a new norm. What makes the ascension different in this instance is that Christ's ascension into heaven is not about Jesus departing from us. It's about him empowering us. He ascends to the Father and he leaves behind a mission for his followers, a mission that all of us are called to continue. It's a call to action that demands courage, commitment, and a deep trust in God. So as we reflect on this mission, today's celebration of Mother's Day also reminds us that our mothers often teach us the first lessons of faith, trust, and love. They are the ones who nurture, teach, and guide us. They help lay the foundations of faith and our very understanding of the world. In many ways, a mother's mission mirrors the Great Commission. Mothers are called to bring their children into life, to introduce them to the world, and to guide them towards a life of goodness and faith. Our mothers play the first evangelical role in our lives. It's through their daily sacrifices, their words of wisdom, and their unconditional love that we first come to know the love of Christ. They're the ones who teach us what sacrifice looks like, that same self-sacrifice that Jesus offered for each one of us. Today, as we honor our mothers, we recognize the ways that they participate in Christ's mission by transmitting the first values that we learn about our faith. And so today, let's pray 
and spread the joy of the gospel to all corners of the earth, starting with our homes and communities, just as our mothers have done for us. On behalf of Kristen and myself, we want to wish each of you a very happy and blessed Mother's Day. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.